Tomorrow's Headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Thursday, March 28th, 2019. I'm Kurt Lipke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. Much needed repairs and improvements for the Crescent Community Club's bleachers, dugouts, and picnic areas will begin next month thanks to a $24,000 grant from the Oregon Community Foundation's Cycle Oregon Fund. Work will commence during April with the removal of the existing bleachers and dugouts. Once foundation work has been completed, installation of new bleachers and picnic tables will occur. Simultaneously, fence repairs will also take place. It's expected that by the start of October, all the work will have been completed. Oregon child welfare officials are removing foster children from a Klamath Falls residential program located in a county juvenile jail after lawyers and state lawmakers raised concerns that the girls did not have free access to feminine hygiene products. Girls recently were given access to three free tampons at a time, but only if they turned over their used hygiene products to staff. Four girls in foster care were assigned to the program as of this week, and the state is moving all of them to other locations by April. Lawyers who represent children in foster care first sounded the alarm about the hygiene products earlier this month after one of the teenagers complained that staff would only provide products if she earned points for good behavior. Around 30 protesters stood out in front of the Oregon Bank Building in downtown Klamath Falls, site of the Pembina offices, rallying against the Jordan Cove LNG pipeline. Coordinated by Klamath Indivisible, the protest is the latest pushback against the effort to build a pipeline connecting a hub near Malin to Coos Bay, where natural gas would be liquefied and shipped to international markets. Portions of the Hyatt Lake campground will be closed temporarily for utility work starting in late May. A 1960s-era electrical line will be replaced to restore operation of sewage treatment and water facilities at the campground. To ensure public safety while this work is being done, campsites in loops A and B will be temporarily closed. Campsites in loop C and Wildcat will remain open. Hyatt Lakes boat ramps, day-use area, group campsites, and group picnic shelter will also remain open. The 745-acre Hyatt Lake Recreation Area is located in the Cascade Mountains in the northern corner of the Cascade Siskiyou National Monument. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Friday, March 29th, Herald News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcasts on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin. And thanks for listening. 